this is uh, this is the uh, the material on which the stones for the uh, the choshen, which is in English the um, breastplate of the Kohen Gadol of the high priest, uh, the material on which the stones and their settings are to be sewn on. Did you, I mean, how did you, how did you find, is this, that's what I meant, is this your design or? No, 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 this is all, uh, it all comes from the Torah. And um, uh, Rav Ariel and his uh, research, um, um, uh, and, 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 and reproduce the weavings of the Second Temple. And, uh, uh, this is what it's stated, that it's 25 centimeters wide, it was 50 centimeters high, and it's folded over, and uh, it, it, it has a, a flowers on it, and, uh, uh, and, and then the thread, in which we'll be speaking to the spinner, that's very intricate, how this thread, exactly how the thread has to be spun, and what colors, and how many threads. Uh, go into each ply, and uh, and it's all done in specification. But the actual design and the the the, uh, the flower, or the, I, I chose the pomegranate, and it was approved by Rav Ariel, uh, uh, because the pomegranates essentially are one of the sh the, sh the seven the seven fruits, special fruits that we make, a special brach on Shemanim. And the pomegranates are also at the bottom of the uh, of the garment of the Kohen Gadol. Uh, the the flowers and, and the bells and the uh, threads around the bells are shaped into pomegranates. So I thought it was suiting to pick this flower arrangement of pomegranates, and, and uh, it's all very very uh, practical. It's not very very mystical. Uh, it's just a matter, it just, in the everyday course of things, how it fell, how, how, how the ball bounces, how, the, how it fell. Well, how do you feel, I mean, doing something like this? I felt, uh, way in the beginning, we're talking about 12 years ago, I felt, uh, I felt so excited. It's like somebody finally finding out what it is that they want to do with their life. It was very, very exciting. And the whole the research ahead and everything. I, I and then when I really got into it, and that goes for for now too because it never really stopped. Like I was addicted once I started. I was totally addicted, and I've never thought of anything else since. And not that I haven't been doing anything, but it, it's always been kind of my main main thing in my life. But I just uh, I just got very very excited, and I was very awed by the original commissioner. In other words, it's, it's the work, you're taking the work from the Bible and you're seeing what the original architect, how he wants it, how he wants it to look. And uh, it's just, uh, at first it's overly simple or, or um, it's just very, very practical. But as you see the, the you see, the, you see the beauty, the ultimate uh, beauty in uh, everything that's been designed. Judy, thank you for this interview. Can you tell me a little bit about what we've seen you do up until now? Uh, yeah, I it's mean, a um, it's a satin-based weave. And it's uh, it's designed so that uh, that uh, a, uh, a brocade or a, a uh, motif will show using uh, a monochrome a monochrome uh, technique, which means essentially there's there's no differentiation of background and uh, and motif by color because everything's the same color. So it's satin base, which is a, a satin weave is a light reflected, like somewhat like your white on white tablecloths. You see, 
you know, the, the flowers and all, but it's all white. It looks like different whites, but it's not. It's the way the color, the way the light is hitting it gives it. So this is, this is the beef that I'm using. Is this your, is this your design? Uh, no, it's a very old weave. There's in the family of tree, it's the, uh, it's uh, the third weave. There's only three weaves. Simple tabby weave and uh, a twill and satin. And every other weave is based on that. Now you mentioned earlier, not today, but you mentioned that you went and studied this uh, and it took you a while. This was not something simple, it's an ancient weave. Yes, um, when, I, when I realized that what I had to do had to be fringeless, uh, then I knew from studying with the Navajos many years ago. Thank you. 